All right, guys, guess what? I don't do these often. I don't plan to continue doing a lot of them. But if I'm going to be doing a project that involves an unboxing, then I will start the project series with an unboxing video. Even if that unboxing uh, happens a long time before I begin the project. And that is going to be the case with this one. So what did I get here today? Well, I told you I was going to get this. The Elekit or Elect Kit model TU8500 preamp. So this is the preamp that goes with the TU8200 amplifier. This thing, um, I bought this at Tube Depot. This actually came a few days ago and I did open the box, but I really didn't look through it. I just wanted to make sure that nothing looked damaged because I wanted to do the unboxing video. So I didn't remove anything. Everything is in the box exactly as it came to me. So I'm going to go ahead and look at it now. All right, so they use really nice boxes at Elekit, so um, very cool. <clears throat> now, this particular thing, oh yeah, that's right, this is why I opened the box. I forgot about this, guys. Um, Two Depot sent me the English instructions for this TU-8500. Um, as you know, with the TU-8200, that came with Japanese instructions, and then in a FedEx envelope were the English instructions. It was the same with this. So, kudos to Tube Depot for taking care of business. They did a nice job of this, and I'm real pleased with them. Um, just, uh, just, you know, really, really take, take, took good care of me as a customer, and I like that. I should mention, considering Tube Depot, that TU8200 was available on Amazon. And here's the deal, guys. The price for the TU-8200, just plain Jane, original stock TU-8200, was only about $20 or maybe $30 less than the TU-8200DX at Tube Depot. And here's the thing about it. I've had a lot of trouble lately with the customer service from Amazon, and I'm getting a little disillusioned with them because uh, several of my orders have either come late or come damaged or I've gotten the wrong thing. So I've been an Amazon Prime member for, for uh, since 2007, and I've bought from Amazon since 2004. So I've been around a long time. I've spent a lot of money there. And when I get something that's wrong, I expect them to look after me. And I expect them not to recite passages from their policy to me, but to look after me as a customer that matters. And I can tell you without going into detail that I've had a couple of experiences recently where I received a product... Didn't open it for a while because I'm a busy person and sometimes I don't get to something right away. And got burned because I let something sit for 21 days and the warranty period on that was only 20 days um, for returns without co contacting the manufacturer. I will tell you, it was what it was was a Dell um, little uh, CD, uh, CD-ROM for my computer, an external CD-ROM was a Dell. And I let the thing sit around for three weeks before I opened it because I didn't need it right away. And when I contacted Amazon, Amazon said, it was Amazon's pol policy about the 20 days, Amazon would not take it back. It was defective. Okay, cheap Chinese junk, sadly. I tried to return it to Amazon. Amazon told me to talk to Dell. Dell said they don't know anything about a return policy. And they wouldn't take it back either. So I finally had to send it back to Amazon, but they charged me a restocking fee. Okay, that's one example. I don't want any more examples like that if I can avoid it, and I've had enough of them. That's just one of several. So let's get to the positive, shall we? Tube Depot, if I have a problem with this kit or with anything I buy from them, we have a, a business that is operated by electronics fans, electronics um, experts. These are people that know about tubes. They know about electronics. And they're probably really into tubes and electronics, too, or they wouldn't be working for a place like Tube Depot. So if I have a problem with this Elekit, you can bet that Tube Depot is going to do a much better job of taking care of me than Amazon. I'm going to talk to somebody who's st who you know is located here in the United States, not somewhere in North Africa. I'm going to be talking to somebody that knows what they're talking about, tubes. I'm not going to have to explain to them what a tube is. And I'm going to be talking to somebody that wants to keep their customer. This is a, a company that seems to go after its customers and wants to hold on to them. So kudos to Tube Depot. Um, every time I've ordered something from them now, I've done really well. This came from them. My TU-8200 came from them. 
unfortunately, they didn't have one of the things that I wanted that, that I wound up ordering it somewhere else, but I would have ordered it from Tube Depot, and I'll always check there first. Okay, so let's get back to the kit, shall we? This is the TU-8500 preamp kit, and uh, here are the Japanese instructions. has the serial number for my machine on there. came with the English instructions. Wonderful, wonderful. Just like the TU-8200, comes with the printed circuit board set. They're put together just like the 8200, where you snap them apart, okay, and they're labeled as units, as was done in the other kit. So everything looks to be right up to the standards of the other kit. I'm very impressed. And, uh, oh, yes, that's right. I also, I'll talk about that in a few minutes. So here are the components. We've got a knob, we've got some feet, we've got some inputs, and probably some outputs here. So the usual stuff that you would expect to see with a preamp kit. Very nice, very nice. All the parts, as was the case with the TU-8200, seem to be separated into nice baggies. And I think that this is going to be a real joy to put together. Uh, boy, it sure looks fun. I can't wait to get to it. Power cord, standard fare. Here are my tubes. Um, I won't, I don't, I haven't looked at these tubes or anything, so let's see what we have here. Okay, so what we have here, I like the little tube boxes. These are Chinese tubes. And just like the, their American predecessors, these boxes are just as much of a pain in the butt to get the tube out of. I don't, seems to be a prerequisite. Okay, so I'm getting to be an old man, guys. So I'm, I discovered recently that life is much easier if I use reading glasses. So here we go. It says China. These are 12 AU7s. All right, just what I expected. And they, they're brand new tubes. They should do fine. And I have, I have literally dozens of new old stock American-made 12 AU7s. I mean, we're talking dozens, probably, um, you know, over a hundred new old stock uh, 12 AU7s. So that's great. So I got these parts are here. Looks like we have some transformer action going on in here. I won't remove these, okay? I know what they look like. They're those nice little transformers that Elekit uses. And here's the cabinet. I won't, again, I won't take this out because you've seen the finish on the other cabinet. Um, so it looks like it to be a nice unit. It has some vent holes. Just so you know, this particular kit, the tubes sit horizontally right here on the chassis. And so these vent holes will help keep it cool. Looks like there's an inlet vent hole right here. So I think this is going to work out real nice. Really nice high quality kit. Boy, do I like delicate stuff. Hmm. Sorry about that. I sure do. Boy, do I like Elekit stuff. Really nice. Nice quality. And you know what? They uh, they seem to want to uh, they seem to want to build good, you know, nice things that last. Because this sure has all the feeling of something that's going to last a while. Put that cardboard back in here. All right. So that's this kit, the TU-8500. Very pleased with it. Just so you know, this is going to become part of my workshop uh, stereo system. And I should have a lot of fun using it. This is a, a great little setup. And I've, I've uh, read a couple of reviews on this unit, and folks say it does a good job. Sounds great. All right, guys. As I mentioned earlier, I won't be starting this kit for a while. I wanted to get a look at it myself and I wanted to show you what's coming up. So this unboxing video is going to kind of sit there by itself for a while even though I'll have a playlist started for it. And probably in a two or three weeks, maybe a little longer, I'll be starting on this. I'm going to do the TU-8100 uh, first and then I'll do this TU-8500 so I can try it out with the 81. And then finally I'll do the TU-8200DX. For each of the two amplifiers, I'll go ahead and do the DAC. So I've got a lot of kit building coming up. I'm going to take a break from some of my customer work for two or three weeks to do some of this stuff. 
and hopefully in the next few weeks after I finish the Scott 800B, I can get these things done. I'm very eager to hear them play, and then I'll do a review finally of how the kits were to put together and how they sound. By the way, when I run these kits, what I'm going to be playing through them is that U-turn turntable that I recently bought. So I got a lot of new stuff going to hit the stereo bench here shortly. All right, guys, this is Michael from your Western Outpost in Salt Lake City. It's January 23rd. That's a Monday. And that's all for now.